All right, everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your Logitech G502 and save complex macros right onto your onboard memory. For some reason, the software makes it more complicated than it needs to be, and after a bit of searching online, it seems to be a common issue. So stick around, and I'll show you how to load those macros onto your mouse. So as you can see here, the 502 has the option to store keybind profiles on board for quickly swapping between profiles. Here you can see I have three setups. I have profile one for my everyday use, profile two for gaming, in this case, Helldivers, and my third profile for video editing in Premiere. Go ahead and open up the G Hub. As you see here, we have our G502. So go ahead and enter into the options for your mouse. By default, it's whatever profile you're using. So in my case, it's the desktop. It's your standard mouse setup. So in our case, we can load up to five profiles onto the onboard memory. You can select from the dropdown here. I've made a few of them, but if you don't have them set up yet, you click right here on Manage Profiles. And here on the lower left-hand side, you can add a profile and create new ones. So once you've made your profile, go ahead and go into the one you want to work on. So in our case, we'll do Hell Divers for gaming. As you can see, I've set up a couple of them for the stratagems. We have stem packs and reloads already set up, but for the sake of this video, I'll show you how to make a complex macro. So we'll go ahead over here to the top left, click on macro, and we'll go ahead and create a new one. The name for this, we'll call it Expendable Rocket. You're gonna go to no repeat, click on start now, and record keystrokes. So in our case, it's gonna be hold down control, down, down, left, up, right. Let go of control and stop recording. Go ahead and save it. Go over to the left-hand side, click and drag it to the button that you want it to. So we'll go ahead and go right here. And that's pretty much it for this part of it. You can make more macros. As you can see, I have the respawn, resupply, and cluster bombs quick mapped. Once you're happy with what you got going on, Go ahead here on the lower left-hand corner, click on device settings. You're gonna go to onboard memory and turn it on. Now this is the key step that people, I feel like, oh, it just stop and then nothing works. You have to load the profile onto the mouse. So go ahead and click on the blue hell divers. Mine was already set up, but in your case, you can click profile four or five, whatever you want it to be, and then select the profile again. So in our case, we'll do hell divers. And as you can see right here, we, we have the three dots loading. And once you have that done is when your profile is officially loaded onto your onboard memory. Okay, so jumping into the game, I'm here on profile one. As you can see, left click will shoot, right click will zoom in, and all my other buttons, all my other G keys don't do anything. Now, if I switch over to profile two, you'll see that I can shoot, aim down, reload, stem pack, and then the macros will work with the two side buttons here. So as you can see, that is how we load the complex macros onto the mouse. You can also use this not only for gaming, but for other applications, like I said, for Premiere, Photoshop, browsing, anything else you need. As always, if you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you around for the next one.